heard Dr. Nicholas Cardaris, author of the book Glow Kids, and he said, I've treated hundreds of heroin addicts, and I've also treated many screen addicts, and he says it's easier to treat a heroin addict than a screen addict. So these things about video games and pornography and all this being addictive, even social media, um, that's very serious. The World Health Organization and the American Psychiatric Association now have diagnosed like official named disorders of video game addiction and these other screen addictions. And it's not that you need their official, you see it, you know, when you see it, you know it. And you see the symptoms, you see the problems, and you see less joy, happiness, thriving in life, the more of those things that you bring in. And so when you remove those things, here's the good news. She says these symptoms resolve in the days or weeks of complete abstention. Their development would grow by leaps and bounds when screens were most restricted. And the amazing thing about this, these stats is this didn't even include let's optimize their lives with replacing the media with the best things possible. They didn't even include the best things possible. It's you could stare at a blank white wall for, you know, three weeks and it's still you're in her data. What if we replace the media with loving relationships, with restored families, with spiritual connection with Jesus Christ, with much nature time, with practical hobbies and purpose and service of others? I mean, we could just talk about the whole life of the Christian, how wonderful and joyful God designed for us to live with him, for him, in his image. These numbers would be even bigger if we did it God's way completely. So the media mind is not well as we cruise toward the end. I want to invite the musicians down for our closing hymn. But you know the word healing, I like being our last word on the PowerPoints because you know what salvation means? The word salvation in Greek literally means to be healed. When we talk about how to be human again, we're saying the restoring, the complete restoring of the image of God in man. We'll always have the frailties of a fallen body. But we can be spiritually renewed. That means like new. Will you choose ye this day to try something out? Where you say, you know what? That kind of made me take off. I'm thinking more clearly. I feel better. I feel like I have more time to do something I wanted to do. Let me just try a week without that. Or let me just try a week limiting that to this. Or let me take the notifications off my device or take the app out of my device. And I got to do this on here. Or I got to get on here to do something on my web browser. But let, let it not be the ball and chain, the constant thing. Because maybe that's an addiction cycle in itself. Not to mention video games and other things that are so harmful. What will we all try today? Choose ye this day whom ye shall serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We choose what he leads us. There's no prescription being stated and laid down today, but there is one, isn't there, to each individual heart.